All right, all right, all right. Check it, man. Hey, man, it's ECEO, man. I'm here with Money Moses, man, Poker, and the official Miss Jamaica. Um, uh, what we doing today? Money hey, Moses. first, we're going to start out with talking uh, money. rich what, people problems. What is it? Rich people problems. Man, hey, rich people problem, y'all. We bring the segment, segment back. We know a lot of people have been asking for it. Uh, money Moses decided to bring it back, and uh, so it's going down, man. So uh, what we got today, man? Let me hear it. Man, first, we're we going to go with Kanye West. <clears throat> Just brought over 400 k for this minivan. He spent how much? Oh, with 400K. 400,000? Yeah, I don't know Man, why. that's some people's house. That's a Texas home right there. That that's boy a bought a Texas home. What's, a what's the features homes. in that thing, man? Uh, some of the features uh got custom seats where they swear. Got custom speakers, TVs, big TVs for like living room TVs. Like all tools to get him to be in daddy mode. Wow. Um, it, you did take it, all that it, for you? It's a custom one-on-one. Custom one-on-one mini luxury van from, from Mercedes-Benz, though. Wow, I mean, does that it, it take all that to be a dad? All this swerving seats and big screen TVs. I, mean, I guess if you want to move in style, I guess you have to. Oh man, I'm gonna step my game. But when we when when my kids were little, we were rode that Ford pickup, <laughs> and uh, it, it had like it was like a four door. And sometimes it some it's a maybe car. Maybe it make it. Maybe it don't. You know what I'm saying? We coming up though together. Uh, these doors open by themselves. They open by themselves. Yeah. yeah. I got a button to open these doors, you know. Uh, y'all, yeah. I mean, poker. How important is it you think to have a four hundred thousand dollar uh, car? Don't, uh, now you got to think big. No, a van. A van. It's a minivan. It's a father van. You got what four kids? Yeah, but you don't need that that van. I mean, I came out all right. We didn't have that. What did y'all have? <laughs> we had a Chrysler van growing up. It was a Chrysler van. Oh, y'all was, had one of them long ones. It was gray and ashy too. <laughs> I had oh, yeah. all my friends sitting in the front. Hills seat. is gray, right? No. It's great. It's no, great. it's 10. It's 10. Oh, it's 10? Yeah. Okay. So I used to give all my friends the front seat, so I wouldn't have to sit up there. You know what I'm about to see? <laughs> Man. Uh, what about you, uh, Ms. Jamaica? What, what, did y'all have a van? What did y'all have? Oh, I had a trailblazer. A trailblazer? Mm-hmm. Yes. Chevy trailblazer. See, that would have been perfect. Mm-hmm. Trailblazer for him. He could have got a, a, a trailblazer, or he could have got a... Uh, uh, Durango. No, you got you talking about four kids though, man. I you mean, and you talking about all your people. You know, the people that see him. I probably I don't know where he live, but I'm pretty sure he's somewhere. Uh, L.A. He in L.A. Yeah, probably in Hollywood or Beverly Hills. I mean, if no, you have it, why not? Spotted. Let's go ahead. Say like Kanye been spotted in the whip around L.A. lately in a one on one custom <coughs> luxury Mercedes Benz van. Less and less horsepower than the Mercedes. I mean, than the Lamborghini he usually drive, <coughs> but it comes with hefty price tag of more than four hundred thousand dollars. Wow, that's he crazy. got it like that. So why not? He got it like that. And he got that. up because that's a half a million dollars. He got Listen, it. that's a half a million for a what? car. But when you're looking at somebody who have billions, a half a million to him seemed like a what a buck, a hundred dollars. We don't know because we ain't never been there. So how are we gonna know? That's what true. Like? But shoot, he bought that car just so them kids can ask for chicken nuggets. Exactly, <laughs> and have it all over the seats. I ain't hating on him though, man. Shout He's out to Kanye, space. man. He nah, has space to carry them kids compared to who driving his it? His sports car. Just give me a Cadillac. Him. Who, who driving? No, nah, he shouldn't be driving that van. He shouldn't be driving. Man, I so, saw Poker. What you got for us today? Well, Carly B. Who? Cardi B. Okay. Excuse me. Okay. <laughs> she, Cardi B done what? <laughs> she has paid for the funeral costs of the Bronx fire victims. Wow, that's that's B. So I that's mean, putting on for her city for sure. Wow. I mean, I wish we had more people like that. You know, it's a lot of them that do a lot of things. But Cardi B has been doing a lot of things. She does a lot for her um, community mm-hmm. and for people. Ooh, wow. Shout out to who Cardi. Who go through things. That's one thing I've seen a lot of her. I think a lot of people do a lot of stuff. It's not noticed, though. Mm-hmm. So not publicized. Yeah. And it should be like that. I think it should stay like that. Wow. Everybody should know your business. If you're going to do it, do it from the heart, not for the public. Wow. Let the public report it. Yeah. Well, Cardi B just had another child, too, and she's still, you know, giving, but she must got that loot coming in. But you, know, but you have pros and cons of that, though, because I've spoken on this before, is the fact that, yes, it's good to do things um, in silent, but then people turn around and, say, and be like, what do you, what have you ever done for the city? People talk about it all the time. You know but what listen, I mean? I want you to answer this question, though. Who judged you at the end? Them people are God. God. All right, true. so it don't matter what they think. That's true. Shout out Money Moses for saying <laughs> God is the reason for the season. Uh, but yeah, so 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 Bronx, uh, uh, she the, it was firefighters that was affected. Mm-hmm. No, the fire victims. Fire victims. Mm-hmm. She paid for the funeral costs. Of- wow. Yeah. And and where did this happen? Did it say? Um, no. Was I Was it did just not. in Bronx though? It, yeah, was, it was vague Bronx. about it. Mm-hmm. Man, anytime you can give back to the where you come from, it gotta feel you got that's gotta be something that hit you right here. Mm-hmm. Especially with no problems. Yeah, 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 yeah. Man, shout out to shout out to her and Offset. I wish I can do it though. Mm-hmm. Yeah, man. What 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 Mr. Baker, what what coming in, what what do you got? 
Well, what I have is former um, NFL player Ed Werder. Okay. He tweeted and said, um, 26 years without an e- NFC championship game appearance. He's talking about them Cowboys. He said, um, everyone, everyone wants to say it's Jerry's fault. And I'm not a firm believer in that. I think Jerry put together some pretty good football teams over the years. I mean, at some point, the players have to win the games. Whose fault is it for losing? Jerry's or the team? Jerry. Why would you say to It's Jerry's team. So, but he's not out there playing. But Jerry called plays from the, uh, Jerry be calling plays from the, uh, from the booth. You know that. Okay, but no. To be honest, no. I, I'm not gonna say it, Jerry. I'm saying it's, it's the offensive coordinator because they need a different offense. Because the offense that Dak need to run, they're not running it. Like Dak is like a spread quarterback. He need to be in a spread offense. I guarantee you, Dak will be the best quarterback in the NFL. They get a spread offense. Well, one thing I love about being a uh, a Cowboy uh, fan and being in the Dallas area and understanding the, the 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 power that comes with being a Dallas Cowboy fan is that we still be America's number one team, no matter. And if I don't we win see why or not. I really we don't, don't see why. We don't I have really to do, do not nothing. see why. We, we paved the way. We are the Cowboys, and at the end of the day, respect what we have done. Our legacy is to be held. True. I want to say this. Hold on. Up, I want to say this. Cowboy fans, know that next year you will be in the Super Bowl. Don't even trip. I'm tired of that. Steph, 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 let me answer this because I got I had a conversation the other day with your brother about <laughs> about Cowboy fans. They always say I hate the Cowboys. I don't hate the Cowboys. I like the Cowboys. I hate the Cowboy fans. Oh. Y'all do too much. <laughs> like y'all can't sit down. Y'all like when y'all lose, somebody gotta have a fight. Somebody gotta get beat up. Somebody gotta get hurt. Why? Because the team lost. They ain't put no money in your pockets. You only hurting yourself when you do that. Some some people people okay, fighting. okay, okay. But what's the difference between somebody representing their cities? Like some people go hard for Dallas or go hard for Texas. That's cool, still. But they're not really just putting no money in their Steph, pockets like Steph, that. Steph, I want you to answer this. I guarantee they got people in their family members that need help with something. But you want to spend your energy on beating somebody up over a Cowboys game. Man, shout out to KLC. That's crazy. Shout out to uh, KL- KLC. Shout out to Charlemagne the God. Shout out to Jay Z. Shout out to yeah, all these people that's cowboy fans. You guys need <laughs> stand up for for the cowboy. Don't stop. Fight, fight, fight. There's a song I think to go with that. No, you that's the problem. Fight, stop fighting. Fight, fight. No, stop you know fighting. Okay, but back to the question though. Do you yeah. think that Jerry is the head? I think the Jerry is, is, is of the problem. Uh, no, Jerry's the, the main problem. No, is Jerry the head? No, the owner. Yeah, like, do you view him as the head of the Cowboys? I think he's a uh, is is the reason for the season. I think what Jerry's done with that team is phenomenal. I love the fact that uh, uh, you know the par- all of the stuff, all of the, uh, the 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 caps and jerseys and the new ways that they advertise. And every year, Jerry stands up to the plate and and do different things that makes the team to stand out and capitalize off marketing dollars. He's a great businessman. Man, you said a lot, but you never answered that question. Yeah, I'm gonna answer, answer the question for you, Jerry. Say less, and you'll win more. Well, I was always told that you can only go as far as the head. So Jerry could be the problem. He's well, I don't think Jerry's the problem. That's what you were trying to come up with anyway. <laughs> Jerry's the problem. Saying, man, keep I'm the team. Listen, keep, listen, I think Dak could have played no, a little better this year. They keep saying Dak, Dak, Dak need, Dak <laughs> need a fucking new offensive coordinator. He need a spread offense. I'm telling he you. He needs support. We're not fit to no, do that. Dak Why got you support. start this? <laughs> you you know you did I'm this. I'm glad you did this. <laughs> Dak got a lot of support. They got a lot of fans. Wow. Well, he knew about himself. Well, moving on. We got we got one more subject. You put Dak in a different offense and watch what happened. Mike Tyson said he never got paid for that. Exhibition fight with uh, uh, with Roy Jones uh, to this day he's still waiting on his money. What do you mm. think about that? Rich people problems. Well, he I can't mean, fight him. I think that's his fault. <laughs> they holding his money up. I don't like that. That's his. I thought that they're supposed to get the money up front before they do anything. They supposed to get some up front and and some after. Well, right. well, he ain't gotten his. He, so he, he ain't got none, or well, he. On, he's just saying they holding his money, money up. The they holding end. his money up. He 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 went he through it with the back end. He did. He went through it with Don King, where they messed. You know, he he he, he had to go to prison for uh, allegations of rape or whatever the case may be. Uh, this guy has been going through it. He it's a the money always become a problem with him when he dealing with this boxing. But when he deal with acting, see they on in Hangover they paid him. He never said they didn't pay him in Hango. But in 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 this boxing arena where people where people are they know they, they can misuse Mike. So here they go tripping. So then they ask him, do he want to fight Jake Paul? 
I don't know about that. That's it. I don't know why first. The only way you go, uh, uh, Mike Tyson fight Jake Paul is they pay him all the money he been owed first. Mm hmm. And then get his. Uh, Run me my money. Yeah. So y'all think that, that that'll be a good fight between Hell him? Hell no. Uh, what you Mike mean? Mike Tyson and Jake, Jake Paul? Yeah. No. Why? why? Mike Tyson can kill that boy that point. Mike Tyson still hit hard. Just because you go, oh, don't mean that you last, lose that punch. That last fight didn't look but, like he was hitting but, that hold hard. On, hold Man, on. that last fight, because it was an exhibition fight. Mike, Mike Tyson only do exhibition fights nowadays. He's gotten too old to just go out there and fight. Man, put me in the ring with Jake Paul. Boy, you don't want none of that oh, smoke. Kill Jake you Paul. don't want none of that smoke. Right. You don't want none of that smoke. I mean, you I'm cannot, me you you cannot smoke. bring a gun to a fight. Hey, my hand's been deadly before I even picked up a gun. Man, that man been knocking me. That's why I had to guy. pick up a gun. Black guy's been running up on Jake Paul, getting knocked out. That's embarrassing. That don't make no sense what you just said. What you mean? Your hand's been deadly. That's why you had you pick up a gun. No, the Steph. gun is more if deadly you than a hand. If you was in the street, Steph, you no, would know. He said that's the reason why he had to pick, pick up, up his gun. God oh. couldn't fight nobody I'm else. Like, they want to kill me for fighting. Oh, that is facts, though. Well, I know that. I had to pick up a gun. It wasn't no fight no more. Still, when somebody want to fight me, they're going to bring a gun. I promise you that. Young. They're going to bring a gun. It don't matter if they fight me one-on-one, -on -one, they're going to bring a gun with them. Mm -hmm. so why, didn't you, why didn't you just put that energy into, like, professional boxing? Because I, I, when I moved to Dallas, I was already, like, 21. So I was like, I didn't start really thinking about boxing until after, like, 25 or 26. You could have started late. But I could have, but I didn't get, I didn't actually get into it boxing until, like, later on. Like, I want to box now, but, you know, it's too old. You, just, you started rapping now, so might as well. That's, that's easy. I can sit in the garage and do that. <laughs> Let's talk about Country Wayne for a second. The other week we had Phase on Love on the show, and he was saying that uh, he said Country Wayne didn't uh, wasn't, wasn't uh, getting residuals for his uh, for what he does, and basically kind of questioned the fact if he was really making money in comedy. And uh, you know, Poker, what do you think about that? I mean, I don't understand why people are not getting paid for their work. Well, he. He he seems to be doing quite well when you see him his drip on the show. He pull out the money. I mean, first of all, money can be rented. So you think that money can be bought? Now, nah, country ain't making money. I know that. You know much. what I'm saying? So like, they he don't probably making money, but he probably making money that he want to make that he think he should be making. He got a team of people around him as well. Yeah, he so he money. he having to feed a lot of different lives, man. Yeah. I like what he did. Shout out to Row and all of them. What did he do? Change his character. Which one? The, the, drip. From drip to whatever. I mean, not from uh, from uh, from country wine to drip. Mm -hmm. Well, he got drip country wine. He got the old man. He got three or four. I'm, I'm, I'm like, but he put, he putting that one, he putting drip like up front now. No, like, not yeah, really. He, he putting drip up front. Drip just more his his. I think and then his he's more out spirited. You know, you've seen drip. Mm -hmm. That's the better. One. That's the best one then. Yeah, drip, but the but that don't mean the other old man don't get down because he's still <laughs> no, they buying. All get, he's they, still buying. They all get down, but drip the best to me. They all get down. Yeah, yeah, they all get down, but drip just the best. Man, I think hey, Country Wayne, Country Wayne is one of them guys, and there's nobody. We got Cheating as Myron coming on, on the show this week, so do, I get to ask him what he think about Country yeah. Wayne, and and just ask him about the ins and outs. What I respect the most about Country Wayne is the fact that he put God in a lot of stuff. Man, I love it, mm -hmm. and it's it's clean comedy, right? Mm -hmm. and clean comedy, huh? and the fact that he's we heard working. from inside sources that he does pray before everything, and you know, well, everything well, he's he like does. us, we pray yeah, before. Yeah, and I, I admire that. Well, that's what you should do. Hey, man, uh, a, a family that prays together stays Thanks together. Hey, man. So, hey, man, uh, that's that's a great segment, you guys. Y'all y'all came up with some hell of a topics. Um, uh, basically, we're gonna be doing rich people problem uh, poke up once a week, so you can come in and help us with that. <laughs> so on Sundays or Saturdays, if you get a break, come through, and we're gonna do a segment of rich people problem. You guys will hear this. This is Monty Moses' uh, segment. Uh, he brought this. We when we first started, we decided to bring it back. You guys, let us know if it's somebody that y'all see out there that's rich with a problem, and we'll be sure to. Uh, and not y'all problems. <laughs> oh, they may be rich though. They might. I was just about to say they might be rich. Check it, man. Hey, man. Hey, man. Thank you guys for tuning in.